I think I've always been interested in anything that has to do with space and time. The Big Bang. You know, when was space itself created? When did clocks start to tick? And most recently, black holes. I'm Jana Levin, astrophysicist and author. No. <laughs> I was definitely not one of those kids with the chemistry set in the basement. I did not see myself as a scientist, but now I see the pieces. I remember looking out my window into the dark of the sky and inventing theories of the universe. My first theory of cosmology was that if the Earth was round, I thought we lived inside the globe. <laughs> I used to wonder how far away is the eggshell of the sky? I was stunned when I realized we lived on top of the globe. I mean, that was even crazier. Right now, we're in my studio at a place called Pioneer Works. A cultural center where I'm director of sciences. This building was originally an ironworks factory. I've taken over the third floor. This is our scissor lift, which is our alternative to an elevator. Scientists come here and do research. We have workshops. These are a series called Scientific Controversies. Many Worlds, Time's Arrow, Can We Explain the World? It's a real experiment in the role of science and culture. The LIGO project, the discovery of gravitational waves. Einstein first proposed gravitational waves is literally a squeezing and stretching of space and time caused by the gravitational pull of objects that passes through like a wave. The LIGO experiment tries to record the existence of these ripples in space-time, and it's a massive undertaking. An experiment in Louisiana, another in Washington State, people laid down their lives to build this crazy instrument. And they did so without any guarantee that the ringing of space-time would ever be loud enough to detect. I mean, even Einstein said, ah, we'll never detect them. Never. Even the gravitational waves caused by the Earth and the Sun's motion is so tiny that it's imperceptible. The only objects capable of creating big enough gravitational waves are things like big black holes colliding, stars exploding. By 2015, they're near four billion dollars, and people who started this experiment in their 30s and 40s are in their 80s now. They're getting kind of nervous <laughs> whether it's going to actually make a detection, but it did. In the middle of the night, a signal comes from the southern sky that's been traveling 1.3 billion years rings the instrument in Louisiana, cruises across the continent and rings the machine in Washington State. That was a great day, I cannot deny. If you think about the span of time between two black holes colliding over a billion years ago and the time it washed over the Earth, when they were admitted, multi-celled organisms were just differentiating on the Earth. And it's near a nearby star system when Einstein's born. And a hundred years after that, enters the solar system. It is this beautiful cosmic event that so precedes human history and made human history.